Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this puzzle block that I have, which is for 120 pieces for 36 months and plus. I'm going to be upcycling this. I got this great opportunity to upcycle the old toys and share with you all and share with the local community here. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. Also, I would highly recommend this toy because... Uh, when I will show you the different ways to upcycle it, you will be amazed at how important it is to get the right toys for your kids. And you should get something that you can upcycle and can be used in various different ways rather than getting more and more toys or more and more learning material for them. So this is by the company called Yovo. I am sharing the link down below and you can find it here. And if you want to know more about this, just like uh, leave a comment. Uh, my box is intact. Uh, the quality was really good. My stuff is still inside the Ziploc and um, I had this pouch but I never used the pouch and we use these. So show you all the activities that I'm going to be using upcycling these. So let's get going. The first activity is size sorting. You can definitely see big and small. This is a great representation and uh, for understanding the size and shape for the kids so you can see that this is big and this is small you can definitely look at the difference and even if you place it here the kid will be able to understand that they both are different sizes so all the different shapes can be put and the kid can easily understand that yes the size is different this looks a little big and this is small so the concept of size can be easily maintained or easily explained with this one Moving on to the next one, number two is shape identification. This is a great way of making kids understand that there are so many different kinds of shapes and uh, they can truly identify slowly or gradually, but the game allows you to explore a different side to it wherein you can teach your child about different kinds of shapes right from this toy. The next thing that can be done with the same pieces is shape sorting. So I have picked up three shapes. You can like try and do more. I've taken a square, a triangle and circle to begin with for the kids. And I've kept a lot of shapes here. So the child needs to just figure out which shape belongs to which one. So primarily they are looking at, they're working on their visual skills here. Picking up and solving is helping them the fine motor skills because trying to pick it up is a great sensory activity and then placing it is a great matching activity too. So the circle, comes here there's another circle so I've kept a different color but the shape is same and we're talking about just the shape matching and not the color sorting so here we are just doing the shape sorting and I have another color which goes right here or goes right here so this is exactly we can do a um, shape um, sorting let's go to the next one one more activity that can be done with the shapes is you can teach the kids a triangle is made up of three sides and what are the sides one two three the same thing can be done for a rectangle so how many sides are there one side two sides three and four and you can also use different kinds of manipulators i'm using all, uh, the old ones that i already have so the three can come here and the four can come right here. So for the same thing you can do for the hexagon, you can do for trapezoid. I have my hexagon piece right here and it's like side number one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm gonna look for, and I'm gonna place it right here. So make sure that when you're picking up toys, you're seeing all these different options. Gift activity is a super cool activity because here you can uh, simply introduce kids to color sorting one two three four five five different shapes and um, sorry five different colors and they have to do color sorting so all we have to see is they have to look for the colors and they have to put it here so a purple a yellow a blue goes here I found another red so like this they can keep doing matching and trust me guys once you have so many pieces the activity can be done for minimum 30 to 35 minutes that the activity is to follow the card and fill in the shapes so as you can see you have an apple here a pear here and a watermelon here what the child has to do they have to figure out what shape is this and then they need to fill it in so of course this card 
comes with the box and i think they have these amazing cards to do the activities so versatile and they are on both the sides so it's not that you have like five or six cards you have they have 22 sides 22 um different designs for kids to work on and i think this is amazing that they're understanding not only the shape but they're understanding exactly how if something is missing from here when you put it it looks like a hole so i think this is a great activity guys uh, just to follow the instructions as well and to give it as an open-ended project for kids to do i definitely love brain teasers so i thought we have to add some kind of a critical thinking and smart thinking uh, activity in this so definitely what i've done is you can take a circle here and you have to help your child to understand what is circle made up of so circle is made up of two semicircles i have kept two different kinds of semicircles and you're going to teach your child how it is made and it makes it into a circle make a circle using two semicircles so let first let them figure out what a semicircle is then they put this together an example could be let's make a hexagon using triangles okay so the hexagon shape is already here and i have some triangles and as a parent first try and put it yourself okay so you have a hexagon right here using triangles so you can also use them as uh, perfect manipulatives and can do graph activity or do counting. So like if for graph activity, what you have to do is you can place all of them here and you could just place a circle and you could ask the kid how many circles are there and either they can use the pencil and write it or they can just use any of the numbers and say, I have a number two here and they could just say two. All right, and then as soon as they find a triangle, all right, you can pick a triangle and say there are how many triangles, and the child can either use the pencil or write, or could put just a number right here, and you can use paper chits by uh, writing the uh, the numbers there. Moving on to the next one. So guys, this is one of my favorite activities that I am sharing with you, uh, especially for this one because there were there are such amazing 22 different kinds of cards that come with it. Uh, rather than just putting them here, you can also request a child to recreate the design. Like using a square, we have created this, and on top of that, there is a circle, right? So they have already they can they have to figure out the shape which is behind. So there's a square, and then on top of that, there's a circle. Then to have this area, I have used a rectangle. So they're just primarily creating their own design by looking at the shape. I told you the previous one was my favorite activity. I would just reconsider and say this is the one that I totally love. It's more of sensory play. So what I've done, I've used a whipping cream. You could use a shaving cream. Uh, you have to just submerge the shapes in them and let the child with either use of a hand or a tweezer or any kind of stuff that you have, they can help pick and choose or they can build towers just scoop it put it here it's a great sensory play and at the same time they are picking up so they're using all their fine motor skills and they are doing this i think it's a pretty cool one right guys so make sure guys if you really want this game i am sharing the link down below this is the box and it's extremely cute and i highly recommend it thanks for watching guys